not so long ago we have reviewed Incognito Play, which turned out to be one of the best applications for grown-up audiences. From the very beginning, they have offered Private Hub feature, which basically allows you to use a full incognito mode, which ensures that there are no tracking or cookies in the app, which means nobody else besides you can know what are your viewing habits or preferences on their application. Their app is very easy to use, and they provide experience free of interruptions or any potential secret threats, because in the app you'll find an advanced spam protection, which restricts any unwanted redirects or intrusive ads. And there's also a built-in virus protection, which keeps you safe from any unwanted downloads. Those features alone put Incognito Play in the top list of the best Fire Stick apps. However, recently they made a massive update for the application, which made it even better. They have added almost a million new videos to the application, fixed some minor bugs, made performance improvement fixes for older Fire Stick devices, and, most importantly, added a new feature, which will allow you to use custom categories on the application. Let's see how it works. In the right upper corner of the app, you see a plus sign, let's click on it, and here you can personally enter any category that you are interested in. Let's say you are looking for Asian content, so let's enter Asian, and then click on the Add Category button at the bottom, then click OK. Then, on the left side menu, you see this new category, which you just added yourself. If you click on it, it's going to load all the content which is related to that category. Honestly, it's probably the first application which introduced such a feature, because personally, I cannot remember any other app which allows you to do that. So you simply enter any category that you are interested in, and it's going to appear on the left side menu. Then, just click on that category, and thousands of videos are going to load which met those criteria. Is it great? Of course it is. And now, when you know how to use the new feature, let's see how you can get this app to your Fire Stick, Android TV, or mobile phone. Now, first of all, you have to get an app, Code and Loader. You can get it for free from the official Amazon App Store or from Google Play Store. Just go to Search on your device and start typing Downloader in the search. And then the Downloader application is going to appear right here. Click on it. And here's the application which we need to download. However, that's not it. After we download the app, we also have to set up. To do so, we'll go to Settings, click on that gear icon in the right part of the screen, then scroll down a bit until you see My Fire TV. Open it, and here we'll have to enable developer options for the downloader application. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options might be hidden by default. So if you cannot find the developer options here, don't worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says No Need, you are already a developer. That's my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now, so if you just go back a bit, you will finally see developer options. Open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging right here, then we go to install unknown apps and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does is going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily from the official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Let's go to the list of applications on your device and the downloader is going to appear right here. Open the app, select Home on the left side menu and here you'll see a search bar in which we're going to type the link. The link is going to be incognitoplay.app, make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen, and then press on Go. Then a website is going to open, you have to scroll down a bit until you see the download button. Click on it. Now the download is going to start, usually it doesn't take long, but of course it all depends on the internet connection speed. Then click on install in the right bottom corner, and after the app finished installing, do not press on open yet, Instead, press on Done, and this way you'll be able to delete the installation file because you don't need it anymore. So don't clog the memory of your Fire Stick. Click on Delete, and now the installation is finished. Now you can go to the list of apps in your device and enjoy this new application.